Hey guys, welcome back to my channel with me, Kiki. So today we're finally going to be replacing this very sad looking black stove hood. The light works just fine, but the fan just gave out on us. So it has to go because it's been loved for a good while. So we're going to be replacing it with this Brown 30 inch range hood that Babe got from Lowe's. And I'm going to be using this rub and buff Spanish copper on it because it is white. I got this idea from the Southern Farmhouse here on YouTube. Check her out. She has an awesome channel. She says she used this rub rub and buff product on the hood so we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes so basically this told us to apply a very small amount onto our fingertips soft cloth or dry short bristles and to apply evenly and thinly um, with gentle rubbing motions and a buff for more luster so I washed my hands before starting and then I put a small amount on my finger and I started to buff it on the hood and then I just used all my fingers to buff the product in and circular motions but it wasn't looking right it looked on even and I felt like most of the product was on my fingers so I decided to use a cloth I put a little bit on there and I started to buff it on top of the hood in circular motions and you're gonna see that the product was also on the cloth so I added a little bit more on top of the hood and I decided just to use my fingers again I did rub my hands together to see if the warmth of my fingers would help it looked like a hot mess and I felt like a lot of the product was on my fingers and when it dried up it just started to remove the product off of the um, hood so I decided to use a soft microfiber towel I put a small little amount to see if this would help I wanted to buff in the bald areas and as you you're gonna see it just did nothing I felt like the product was just on the towel I added a little bit more product to the hood and I used a clean side of the towel to buff it in and it just didn't work as you're gonna see it just removed the product I really wanted it to work but at this point it was very frustrating because I felt like I was doing it wrong I don't know if the product was old I don't know if the product just didn't like me I don't know if the product didn't like the hood and it kept leaving bald spots so at this point I just grabbed the clean side and just started to remove it but I wanted to see if it was easy to remove and yeah it was completely easy to remove so I just started to remove everything at this point and then I was like you know what let me give it one last shot and during this I used my fingers and some part of the cloth there from far away it looked okay but up close it was uneven and it had bald spots and it was lumpy it was a hot mess so I just decided to sand it down with a hundred grit sandpaper to remove the product because at this point I just was done with it so then I told hubby to please um, go to the store and grab me some spray paint I couldn't help myself I spray paint a little bit of that gorgeous color on there the color was a metallic finish but it looked more of the copper color that I was going for I wish that it was a little bit darker but I think that the color was precious either way and all I did was spray paint less than half um, on the top and on the sides because you're not gonna see that when we install it in place I used the napkin to cover the fan and the light bulb opening and then I spray painted about two thin layers underneath the hood and you're gonna see that the color is just uh, absolutely beautiful I was in love with it and then I'm just putting back the cover for the light bulb I just squeezed it in there and um, then I am putting back the fan cover and turning the clip right there behind it to secure it in place and then I am opening up where the electrical wiring is and this was a Phillips screwdriver and I'm about to show you now that inside it was four screw drivers four screws four screws to screw the range in place the black and white wire for the fan and the light and then I went ahead and turned off the power downstairs in the basement to remove the old range and it had four screws I'm showing you them there and I also opened up the electrical box right there to unwire the light and the fan from there and once that was done hubby actually did it um, there is the white wire and then the black wire and then the ground that we're going to be connecting to the new hood range and um, behind the hood there was this 
circle thingy um, where the wiring goes so I just used a butter knife moved it back and forth to remove that and as you can see it popped right off and then hubby to the rescue to help me put it in place and rewire everything and boom it is done I think that it looks absolutely beautiful let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below and finally we have a fan that works I'm very happy about that and even though this hood had one light I put a daylight bulb in there and it was nice and bright I hope that you enjoyed this video I'll be updating you on my Dollar Tree backsplash that will be completely messed up but we'll be fixing that together on the next video thank you for watching I'll see you on the next one bye